introduction to the video. I love doing any videos that's going to allow me to dress up. I did want to get some sunlight but also film my Sunday reset vlog today. What am I doing? Two videos, creating two videos in one day. Who am I? Earlier today, well yesterday technically because it's 3 a.m. Yesterday I recorded my Sunday vlog, my Sunday reset or whatever and I decided let me see if I can multitask. I need to have other another video too. Although y'all I have several videos in my fucking phone right now that need to be posted. At least three. But I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. I just I want to create. I'm mean, just like this creative. Anyway, introducing the video, we are going to put on some laundry pieces uh, on that I had purchased a year or a year and a half ago. See if they fit just like the last haul. And one piece that y'all have not seen me wear yet. One of the pieces you haven't seen me wear yet, which is fine because, well, anyway, I'll let y'all see why. I just wanted to introduce the haul. We are going to be taking some of these videos. Uh, just the thought of the video part. When I show y'all how it fits on me, that is a lot when I edit. Like, I use like three different apps just for those little pieces alone. So, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Um, that's all I have to say, really. At the end of this video, it's something that I wanted to say. I get a brain fart. You guys will see that part, but revert back to this because this is what I had the brain fart about. I did not know. I was today years old when I found out that Megan Good was a Leo. She won a verse. What? Y'all, yeah, Leos are very, like, when we find out or when we come across a fellow Leo, we are just so ecstatic, right? It's it's a vibe, right? You have to be a Leo to get it. So, so you know, you guys know that she's going through her divorce or whatever. And the Shay Room just posted that video of hers where she was looking so bomb in that blue with her little bob. Like, I want to do a, bo a blonde bob like that now. Like, I want that color like blonde and that's not regular blonde i need to find that color they showed that little video of her someone shared it in the leo group in the leo group that i'm in on facebook and said like something leo leo energy and i was like so i googled it i googled it very quietly i didn't try to correct them i didn't say nothing on the comments i just googled it and she is a leo and she's an august leo at that y'all i love her even more now i'm like what the fuck she's one of us of course she's threaded so starting with my least favorite you guys is the white i do not like the white because the body's the teddy on the white which is this piece right here this is from i want to say she in if it's not she in then it was definitely fashion nova but i haven't ordered anything from fashion nova in a while because of the obvious reason so i think this is really she in and what it is is like a as you can see in the, the video it's a two-piece it's a teddy a white teddy and then you have this thing you wrap around you know the model of course like it, it'd be it'd be the advertisement for me like it's so not real and it's just like bro what so i didn't like the way this looked on my body at all i'm pretty sure the model had to figure something out for them good ass ankles because no bueno Here's the teddy here in question. As you can see, like I said on my body, this doesn't even make sense for anyone's body size to be quite honest. Like the top from the bottom of the area is so like weird how they make it. It just doesn't even look politically correct to me. So this one was my least favorite baby. But like I said, I believe I got that from Shein. Um, so, so far as fitting me, I don't know. And I really don't care because I don't know when I'm gonna fucking wear that again. And I hate that I can't send it back because it's been a while since I purchased that. I'm not a person that sends stuff back. And I definitely would have sent that back. You guys can see this makeup totally on my shirt. But it's okay because we're going to make this quick. So now for the next piece, which is my second to the least favorite. We're doing it in not favorite to most favorite. That's the order we're going to do. Okay, so this top right here, I got by itself. It's just like a cute little cover-up. Very teasy. Very teasy i really 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 like this top i paired it with the little schoolgirl skirt 
because I had a schoolgirl top that goes with it with the same pattern and everything, but right as of right now, I don't know where it's at. I did see it recently, but that's fine. I just paired it with this. Um, this is like a mesh. This is like a mesh see-through, really teasy type of top. As I've stated, it's very teasy. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> the school skirt is doing what I kind of, I guess, expected to do. It's well, I'll just insert a clip. But the school skirt thing is doing what I needed, not needed to do, but I guess what it supposed to do and it's just it flares out so this one is not really bad because it's kind of like a one size fits all type of thing so the skirt is fine the top is still annoys me the way it used to but the material like I said it's just the top is just for pictures and like when you and your man are together because you know that he's about to take it off type of thing um, aside from that it's like, I mean if you're picky about fabric like I am so just be clear of that so this top is from Shein and the uh, flirty skirt thing is from Fashion Nova that was paired with a matching top so all right so the verdict for me in this would be it feels the same that I did when I first purchased it I purchased it I think it was at our last place for sure I just don't remember how long ago it was it's been a minute literally I know for a fact it was last year so it was annoying to me then and it's still annoying to me now the material is very um, I don't want to call it cheap given the fact that it is a mesh top so it's like of course it's gonna seem like minimum fabric but that's not what I mean by a cheap feel it's like papery I'm not explaining it. Y'all know I'm a like fabric texture really pet peeve person and this I wouldn't be able to wear any longer aside from a video shoot or a photo shoot. Next I have this and this paired up. It's alright. I mean it was alright. It wasn't the best which is why it's my second to the least favorite. The material though is just I don't know how to explain it because this is my second only my second time trying this on and like you can see like that stitching is just so bad so i feel like these companies are a hit and miss a lot of fucking times simply because it's like okay you can't beat their prices like their prices is what draws us in and it's so far does that mean like you get what you pay for does that go with these companies does that saying go with these companies these are clothes it makes it a little bit different it totally should be doing something and this is not really doing anything so i paired it with this see-through top right here and yeah second to least favorite honey y'all this bodysuit was from pretty little thing and i have not ordered from pretty little thing since 2020 because that's just a whole other story but this bodysuit i'm technically i'm technically not even buttoned up i'm just in this top at this point for this video but this material is so not stretchy at all it's also irritating to my skin but there's like literally no stretch like imagine something stitched perfectly to your body this i can't break free from you see and like i said the material is just whatever but i really like the print i really like the color um, maybe I can order it in a different size, but I should I really shouldn't have to Anyway, so the next two pieces are from Fashion Nova as you guys know I've worn this before several times in my hauls. These are so good. Love them I honestly really 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 love the blue piece out of the two the best simply because It's this really pretty indigo color for me. Do you see that? Do you see that and I've always liked the color indigo when I was like a kid uh, you know how like in the, the crayon box you had first of all I didn't know at that time there was like several blues several greens you know I was still in learn learning stage they had indigo in our crayon box y'all and so I used to always like love this blue I just remember always loving the blue I remember the name because you know how it has the name on the side of Crayola like I remember always looking at the name of the, the color um, so I know for a fact that it's indigo I just really love this color is so pretty i love the material this is like the perfect piece like like it's the material for me it's like stretchy but it's not like spandex and then like this is kind of like a silk 
I don't know how it's, I wish I could touch it like this is just such a perfect piece like I don't I wish this was like a dress so I can wear like out out like this is how perfect this fabric is like satisfying me so much it's so pretty it's so satin it's so soft when I put it on and pull it over my hips and things like that it gets snug nicely in that area like almost right away I, I just really love this piece um this is my favorite out of the two the other one is the dominatrix looking one I really love this one as well if I can get the boobs part together because it's like this is my size but the boob area isn't and you know it's just like a hit or miss because these measurement people don't really know people that got bigger titties and you know stuff like that so the last piece that i have on during this haul you guys is actually a bathing suit it's not a lingerie piece but the print of this makes this so sexy maybe that's why tiktok didn't let me post when i made a video to post with this on even though it's a fucking bathing suit oh shit even though it's a fucking bathing suit like tiktok was like uh -uh, we're not gonna let you post that i was at the pool and everything so it's not like i was like at home they, they could have been like oh this is andre you at home you're doing it no i was at a whole pool and i was wearing this i'm actually in some or some nah i ain't gonna promise that to insert some clips but if i do decide that y'all gonna see it wasn't that bad but it is a very 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 sexy swimsuit as you guys can see with the video and i really love it i put this in here because last time i wore it it did give me boob problems like mm. so when i originally put it on when i around the time i made the tiktok the boob area was already like <sighs> it's just i don't know how to explain it like i love the material because it's a nice stretch i love anything that feel like it's gonna melt on my body this is one of those pieces that melts on my body but it's like when it gets to this part since as y'all can see in the video so like i'm not explaining like when you tie it up in the front you tie it up in the front first of all so like for my for my boobs my breasts like to get them to mm, i have to like i don't know how to explain it but either way when i first purchased it and i first tried it on i had that problem already with my boobs so it's like since i've gained weight it was harder for me this time around to tie that in the front where my boobs are but the material is great i really love fucking great the material is great the sizing is great because i feel like if i went up another size went up just so i could satisfy the size of my boobs then the rest of the bathing suit would be loose so that's what i meant by the last piece when it's like a hit or miss because say you change size for just your boobs but like the bottoms get bigger too and now your loose bottom tight top so that's the um pros and cons of just i think any any outfit or any clothing is just the fact that you know if it's a two-piece or if it's like a <clears throat> a full body type of thing yeah. all our bodies are different so they can't really promise the same thing per se
that is really it y'all that is it um like i said i apologize my camera is just so blurred i feel like it's blurred when i edit i'll see when i edit i would see if it is blurry and hopefully during my tricks during my edits i can manipulate that um a lot of the times y'all my videos don't look as busted as i feel like it it's just when i'm looking at it like like now live i feel like oh my god like even in my thoughts right now i'm like man this is gonna be so blurry but watch when i edit it it's gonna be fine well i can make it fine so that's it you guys um it was something else i had to say what else did i have to say oh yeah that's pretty much it i did want to record myself kind of decluttering um it's some glossy boxes and some boxy charms boxes that i didn't realize still had product in it that i came across today and i wanted to film me um just sorting that out i thought that would be fun but it's 3 a.m i'm frustrated y'all my phone has been acting up and i know it hasn't gotten wet or nothing like that but it's just acting really like for instance my camera is just so the like uh, it's my camera overall like my regular camera as i've stated several times is not catching and picking up my voice like at all so even when you know like on the iphone when you talk and text to people versus like texting them you send a voice tag or whatever like when i do that or when i use my regular camera my voice is it's just so ugly and i'm not understanding what's wrong with my phone like i don't want to take it to get seen or anything like that it's just frustrating it's a frustrating thing that's that's what's honestly stopped me and slowed me down from making content this year i wanted to come in this year full force but that has honestly like just fully discouraged me because i don't know what the fuck to do really i am going to start editing this tomorrow y'all i'm slacking on the edits like i'll be able to talk man i need to just vent i really just need to vent but i need to vent to people that understand and i don't talk to anyone that creates content like i do personally on a personal level all i get to do really is look at the bigger influencers and just be able to vibe with them because i am going through what they go through except on a smaller level um but all the bigger influencer when they talk about certain things i can relate so much and i'm like man i wish i could just call them like versus just i mean i watch the videos to support them but can i call y'all like can i have somebody's number because i just need a little encouragement just just a little bit of encouragement from someone thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to a gym and i will see you guys in my next video bye